Hey y'all, welcome. Welcome back to Artistic License at the Playhouse. I'm Karen Terry and this is my Thursday streamer. We do a little bit of whatever I want. Today we're gonna be playing some Final Fantasy X. What do y'all think about that? A little bit, a little slight change on the intro. I feel like my stream needs like a name for the location, you know, that ties Artistic License and Earnest Stage Window together. Oh, thank you, Karneko. Thank you so much. And congrats on the first today. I know it's going to be a good Thursday stream since we got first with Koneko. <laughs> we have three more species conquests to beat before we can move on to original creations. And I'm going to show you all some fun stuff in this game at the beginning of the stream as well. It's going to be a little bit different. Um, we're not just going to dive right in to fighting. I want to show y'all some stuff. First, uh, fun thing. But first of the first, as you guys know, we like to start this stream with a little personality quiz. Here we go. This is the one we're doing today. We are doing how fandom would see you if you were a fictional character. Oh my gosh. I saw the title of this quiz, knew I had to take it. So I put it on my list as soon as it was sent to me. I think it was Kendra that sent it to me. Thank you so much. Um, here we go, you guys. This quiz helps you figure out how the fandom would see you if you were a fictional character in a piece of media. Okay, okay, here we go. Okay, there's nine questions. We had to pick a word. We got to pick a word. Passion, creativity, springtime, harmony, ocean, royalty, caretaker, mystery, innocence, neutrality, Solid life void. Well, these are quite some words. Um, I like to think maybe passion or solid. Kind of vibing with those. I'm definitely vibing with ocean. So I don't know. Like maybe we go with ocean. Yeah, I think maybe let's go with ocean. Yeah. Okay. Choose the IRL fandom. On this list, you spent slash spend time, spend the most time in. A lot of answers I know, but it's only the ones, but it's the only one like this. Holy crap, there is a lot of these. Okay. We got Shadowhunters, Percy Jackson, Hunger Games, Steven Universe, Gravity Falls, Owl House, Marvel, DC, Amphibia, Heartstopper, BBC, Sherlock, Our Flag Means Death. Oh, I'm really into that right now. What we do in the shadows? Oh my God, obsessed. Y'all, the new season is so good. I think I've told y'all in the stream like three times now. It's so freaking good. Kendra, welcome it. You had sent me this, didn't you? You sent me this quiz, I think. Um, we got Doctor Who, Critical Role, She-Ra, Avatar, Good Omens, Lord of the Rings, Warrior Cats, Pokemon, Star Trek, Undertale, Supernatural. Ooh, that should have been given in a different genre. Ah, it's too funny. Okay. Choose the IRL fandom on the list you spent slash spend the most time in. Okay. Um... Harry Potter is inconspicuously missing. So like, I want to say what we do in the shadows and like, this is true, but like Pokemon's on here. So like, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? The an the true answer is Pokemon. Also, probably honestly, second answer is even Supernatural. And even though I haven't watched Doctor Who in a long time, I spent a lot of time doing Doctor Who fandom stuff. Um, Spent a lot of time in the Marvel fandom, Steven Universe, Hunger Games. Yeah. Anyways. What we do in the shadows, honestly, it's only been the past few years, so this just doesn't compare to some of the others. Okay, we've got, this one's important. What do you do in reading fan fiction? I just read it. Oh, no. Give me one second, you guys, actually. Um, I will be right back. We're going to go to the starting soon screen for a second. All right, so sorry about that, guys. Oh, my gosh. Um, my poor puppy. <laughs> my poor puppy has been having some stomach issues today. And um, I, I, I don't know if y'all could hear it. I have no idea if the microphone picked it up, but literally, like, I heard gas and I knew. And so I had to rush. Otherwise, we were going to have another mess to clean up, which means I would have had to have been gone longer. So um, Levi and Jeff are taking care of her now. She's good to go. She's outside. So everything's fine. But I had like a panic attack for a moment. Like, oh, no, on the carpet. <laughs> but yeah, OK, we're good. Hi, Kitty. Welcome. Um, I'm sorry you came while looking at like a random starting soon screen because I had to run away. I see you got the weird one, Koneko. I'll read that in a second. Um, I know, not the carpet. It, one more week in this house, y'all. One more week. One more week, okay? One more week. This is the last weekend in this house. Oh, I cannot wait. Okay. 
Anyways, let's get back to the quiz. I'll talk about that more in a second. This one's important. What do you do when reading fan fiction? I just read it. I don't interact. I leave kudos. I bookmark slash subscribe. I leave a comment. I always leave kudos. If I read it, unless it was garbage, I leave kudos. Sometimes anonymous kudos, but I leave them. Pick a non-human attribute to have. Wings, mermaid tail, mammal ears, claws, prehensile tail. Well, hello. Hello. I am a cat girl. Yes, I am a cat girl. Okay. I'd loan you carpet cleaner. Yeah, I just actually used up the carpet cleaner on the mess today, so that was fantastic. Oh, and a cell gore. Let's try to catch that. There we go. Okay, pick a random thing me or one of my friends have said IRL or on Discord. I'm the stump man. I speak for all the trees that died of natural causes because this is a nationally protected forest. Human creature is eat... Oh, human nature is to eat fatty, salty, and sugary foods, create, and then create some more, and then stare up into the stars and wonder. Oh, I love that. Um, we are a catastrophe. We All we can hope is that we will be a pretty one. Oh, I like that too. My favorite sound is silence, because then I know your dumbass, <gasps> dumbasses aren't trying to kill yourselves for once. <laughs> this was definitely said on Discord for sure. Oh, fudge waffles. My life is ripping apart at the seams. I want to be a zookeeper so I can cuddle with the giant kitties without getting in trouble. We all cling into sameness like a barnacle clings to its side of a ship. Truth is, a rock will always find a way to scrape us off no matter what we do to stop it. I'm going to summon one of those giant demon bats and kill everyone who is involved in my wife's kidnapping the most gruesome way possible. Ooh. There is not metaphor who can, there is not metaphor who can truly describe people other than the great experiment that is humanity. If I have stolen your toes, you may be entitled to financial compensation. 1-800-I-HATE-MY-KID. <laughs> That's the number my mom used to call every morning. <laughs> Koneko, that is what I said. I did say that. <laughs> well, I'm emotionally attached to this plant now, so I will now carry it everywhere with me like my adopted child. Her name is Dorothy, by the way. Okay, we are going human nature. Yeah, human nature is to eat fatty, salty, and sugary foods, create, and then create some more and to stare up at the stars and wonder. I love all those things. You and your friends are in danger. Oh, no. What do you do? Be honest. I don't judge. Try and find something to fight with. Run. Talk yourself out of the situation. Try to fight with or without a weapon. Panic. I'm going to try to talk myself out of the situation. Like, that's the real answer. Um, and if it doesn't work, like, I'm only going to do this for, like, a little bit, and then I'm going to run. <laughs> Choose a song from my playlist. Before He Cheats, Nothing New, Taylor's Version, Still Into You by Paramore, Fright of Their Lives by the cast of Beetlejuice, Black Sheep by Metric, About Damn Time by Lizzo, Stubborn Love by the Lumineers, Teenage Dirt Bag by Wheatus. Oh, I like that song. I'm just a teenage dirt bag, baby. I Really Like You by Carly Rae Jepsen, Riptide, The Chain, um, Girlfriend, We Will Rock You by Queen. Oh, uh... I know some of these songs, not all. I don't think Teenage Dirtbag fits me, but I really like that song. I think we have to go with We Will Rock You. I think we have to. I think we have to. Yeah. I mean, this is a good Avril Lavigne song. I'm not blaming you, Koneko. Okay. Pick one of my favorite movies. The Sea Beast 2022, What We Do in the Shadows 2014, Holy Shit. Jojo Rabbit, Holy Shit, Good Movie, Black Panther, Really good movie, Return of the Jedi. Lilo and Stitch, oh my god, I love Lilo and Stitch. Moonlight and Pride and Prejudice. How do I pick? Okay, I have to pick between what we do in the shadows and Lilo and Stitch. This is a human rights violation. What? No. Okay, excellent, 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 excellent. This person has excellent taste in movies. You have a Lilo and Stitch tattoo. Lilo and Stitch is the best, isn't it, Kitty? You want to know what? Frozen got all popular for doing like the sister thing. Lilo and Stitch did it first and better. And better. Okay. Hello. Hello. Oh, we have to go with Lilo and Stitch. Like, if this is for, for me and, like, what my heart says, it has to be Lilo and Stitch. But, like, oh, my God, I love these movies, too. This person has good taste. I have it with my sister and dad. Oh, my God, that's so cute, kitty. Oh, my God, that's so cute. I love that. Um, You need to take a pic sometime and show us the, the tattoo. Okay, we don't do the text questions. You guys know it. Should be in a different genre. I guess should be in a different genre too. Okay, you're a good character. You should just be somewhere else. 
You're too serious or funny or kind or mean or ruthless or lenient. You are truly born in the wrong universe. You would do so well if it weren't for the genre. Bro, if that ain't real life, if that ain't real fucking life, how do we say? <laughs> oh, there's a lot of answers for this one. Wow. Lots of answers. Okay. I want to go back and read the weird one. You're the weird one. The one that half of Tumblr baby girls and all of Twitter is slightly scared of. You're probably autism coded. And you probably also know some vital information that you shouldn't for some reason. Oh, I like that one. I like that one. Yeah, we twinsies. All my tattoos are cursed. I never do enough research. Oh, like you like you didn't research the artist and the artist wasn't very good. Is that what you mean, Kitty? I'm so sorry. I still want to see a picture just because I, I mean, I love Lilo and Stitch that much. I would still like want to see a picture of a bad Lilo and Stitch tattoo because Lilo and Stitch is fucking awesome. Oh, it's a good, such a good movie. Such a good movie. Love it. Okay. Um, let's go. Mouse feels like it's gonna die. Let me plug this in. Let me plug this in. In there, plug. I had to flip it around multiple times. Okay. You're too good for us. Thank you. I like to think I'm too good for the world. Not for you guys, though. You guys, I'm just right for. Just the rest of the world. <clears throat> Eliza is using shaving cream paint to make her butt into a pumpkin. Okay. I mean, I guess that's a choice you can make. Anyways, y'all hear the music? I don't think you hear the music. Uh, let's see. Let's go to the game. That's because it's not finding the game. It's still on Stray. Okay. I don't think you can hear the music, though. It does not look like it's coming through. Let's see. Let's see. What's going on? You cannot hear the game, I don't think. Okay. That's what it's doing right now. I think I just need to close it and reopen it. Let's try that. Technical difficulties counter. Oh, why is the audio not going? It really isn't going. What's happening? Why? Let me just, let me see what's up. <laughs> I'm just messing with settings. Well, this is strange. I can hear it, but you guys can't hear it for some reason. Let's see. There it goes. I had to make a whole new source for some reason. I don't know what's going on. Now it's very loud. Okay. Yay. Thank you, guys. Okay, now we can actually go to the game. <clears throat> My pun started into working. Yeah, the source that's supposed to pick up the audio just was not working. I just had to, I made a whole new source and, and that worked. I shouldn't have had to do that. I really don't know why I had to do that, but whatever, it's working. Who cares? Here we go. Okay, you guys, here's what we're going to do. So I did some fun stuff. 
in between last stream and this stream, I got everybody's triple AP weapon, okay? So we're gonna show off the AP trick, all right? So you farm these triple AP weapons from killing one eye, which we got, we killed one eye together. So I killed him enough times to get everyone one of these triple AP weapons, right? And then you customize it. Oh, it's quiet, okay. Let me turn the game up a little bit. All right, that looks like it's probably good. We'll see when we get into a battle too, if it's bad, okay. So you farm up these triple AP weapons and then you customize them with this overdrive to AP and triple overdrive. Okay, so we're gonna do that to Titus's because um, I didn't do it yet so that I could show you guys, but I did it to everybody else. So we're gonna customize overdrive to AP. That's gonna be down here. Overdrive to AP, use doors, door to tomorrows for these. You're gonna get 99 of these as one of your rewards as you're doing like the um, monster arena capturing. But if you do need to get more, you can um, farm them by bribing mech leaders and mech scouters in Gagazette, but you have to actually go to Gagazette and like find them because they're they're mechs. So they're, you can't get to them in the arena. So a little annoying if you have to farm them, but you have 99 of these, so you, you probably won't have to farm them. And you can see it only takes 10 to, to do that. And then you want to do triple overdrive, which takes winning formula. Now I don't have quite enough winning formula, but you can easily bribe this. So let's go, let's go get some winning formulas. So we would go here. Actually, let me make sure. I got, is Riku in my party? No, she's not. All right, come here, Riku, get in the party. And then we're gonna go fight monsters and um, be canal. And it's these sandworms right here. <clears throat> And if you bribe them for 900,000, now, like that, but I like to be a little extra, so we're gonna just do a little bit more, just to make sure it goes through. And you get 15 of them. So I already had some winning formula, so this is probably gonna be plenty. So this is the average, you get an average 15, from bribing the sandworms for 900,000. CC, I got 12. All right, let's go back to customize and we're gonna do his Darren Hall. <gasps> oh my God. Ah, hey lady. Thank you so much for the raid. Oh my God, thank you so much for the follow. Um, we do have anonymous follows turned on here. So if you, um, want me to say thank you with your name, then please just announce yourself and I'll be happy to do that. But thank you so much. Uh, thank you for the shout out, Kendra. Here we go. <laughs> oh my gosh. I think the audio doubled there because of the weirdness. Oh my God, thank you so much for the follow. Thank you so much. We are playing Final Fantasy X. Oh, I guess there's so many of you. I feel like I should do something. Hang on. All right. Welcome friends. I'm so excited to have you here. Uh, my name is Karen Terry. This is the Playhouse. Um, yes, I just recently named the, the space on my stream for those of you guys that haven't um, heard it yet. Uh, we stream on Thursdays. I stream by myself on Thursdays where we do a lot of story driven games. Um, and then I also stream on Saturdays and that is more of a podcast uh, format. And that is also the stream where we do our community days and we play games together. So two different days that we stream. Um, I'm all about good stories. Um, I'm all about sharing information and education. I do a lot of like media analysis. Ah, thank you so much for the follow. Oh my gosh, you guys. And y'all know what? Some of y'all, some of y'all actually already know Lady and don't realize it. Um, they go by a different name in Discord and we have been running in the same circles and various uh, roleplay hub servers for a really long time. So I don't know, um, Lady, if you want me to share your Discord name or, or not, but if you'd like to tell people you can. But yeah, a lot of y'all that are in here that are in my streams a lot probably already actually know Lady. And guess what? They stream too, and you should absolutely go follow them. Yeah, that's right, Character Doctor. So you guys already know them probably. You've probably seen them around in several of the um, various servers that all of us role players are in on Discord. <laughs> So thank you so much to all of Lady's friends who have followed. 
episode. I really, really appreciate you guys. And thank you so much for the raid, my friend. Yeah, Kendra. Yeah, you know them. You know them. All right, here we go. All right, so we got that all, um, all done up. <clears throat> now, I spent about eight hours. <laughs> I spent about eight hours farming up these weapons, okay, you guys, to give them to everybody so that everybody could have their triple AP weapons. It took four fucking ever. I will tell you that. And because of the time that I spent on that, um, I made the Aeon cutscene shorter, so I did that too. And um, <clears throat> Titus was the last one that I got, actually. Titus um, took forever. I got so many two-slot Durn Halls, it was like freaking ridiculous. I just could not believe it. Like, I just kept going, oh, I got it. Nope, two slot. It's not a three slot one. Yeah, you never met her, Chrono? Oh my gosh, that's crazy. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. I think that's how that's how we met. I was going around trying to join, and I still join a lot of, pretty much any roleplay hub server, I will join it, even if I don't think that I will fit in there, just because, like, I always want to keep my pulse on what's going on in the roleplay community, you know what I mean? <laughs> you know, lady, I had a sneaking suspicion he was lying to me. Just saying, just saying. Oh my gosh, thank you for the follows. You guys are so awesome, all these follows. Lady, you have a really amazing community. Thank you so much for sharing them with me. The, the gifts are broken. The gifts are broken. No, the no, there's Landon. Yeah, Landon gif is going. Oh, Evie is broken. Oh, that's y'all's favorite gif. I'll have to look at her after stream. Um, don't let me forget. Don't make me. Don't let me forget. I gotta go check why Evie gif is broken. Landon gif is not broken though, so that's interesting. Okay. Um. So. Yeah, I spent a lot of time, and I also farmed up a bunch of different sphere types so that we have 99 of each sphere type. Because what I'm going to show you guys next is the Dawn Tonberry trick. So, here's what we're going to do. So we're going to pick who we want to get leveled up really fast. And we're going to go into the overdrive status, okay? So we want to go set mode right here. And um, we're going to set our sacrifice to stoic. So if Titus is our sacrifice, then we want to set him to stoic mode, right? And then Waka is going to be, I'm just looking at my notes to make sure I do this right. And Waka is going to be comrade and Riku is going to be comrade. Actually, like everybody that's not our sacrifice needs to be comrade. So we're going to set everyone over to comrade. Okay, in Mother Russia, right? All right, so Titus is stoic, everyone else is comrade. Evie needs to go to the Pokemon Center. I suppose so. We'll see a bunch of Vaporeons, I'm sure, on this stream. <laughs> As you know, Koneko. <laughs> okay. So what we're going to do is the Stoic is going to hit the um, Tonberry until it gets too close. Everyone else is going to run away. All right. So we're going to save. I'll show you guys. Oh, no. I did more new save data. New save data. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll probably hear some Vaporeons. You better, Riri. You better. You can come back in. It's okay. It's okay, girl. It's not a big deal. We clean it up. Here we go. She back. I don't know if y'all can hear her little little whinies. Ash, leave her alone. You just don't want that right now. Hey. Okay, Ash, back off. For those of y'all that don't know, we have a lot of animals at the at this house, um, and our dog is elderly. She's like somewhere between 15 and 18. We're not really too sure. We got her as a rescue, so um, she can't really hear. She can't really see anymore. Uh, she's got pretty bad dysplasia, so her hips kind of don't, her back legs don't really work anymore. She got a lot of she got a lot of problems, but she's real adorable, and we love her very much. Your vampire kitty. Do you have one? Of, does your kitty have like the two teeth sticking out? Those are so freaking adorable. Okay, so we're going to go to Species Conquest. I think, is it? No, they're under Area Conquest. Yes, Don Tonberry. Okay, so we're going to fight Don Tonberry. <clears throat> so our Stoic right here is going to hit the Tonberry until they get too close. All right. We have Auto Phoenix, so they're gonna revive him. Everybody else, we skip. 
They don't need to hit him. Only when he's smiling, I just call him Vampire Kitty because my Twitch persona of a vampire. Oh, I love that, though. I love that. All of my emotes are... Ah! Bird Unleashed gifted a tier one sub to Lady Karangale. This is their first gift sub in the channel. Thank you so much, Bird. Oh my gosh, I really, really appreciate you. Thank you so, so much. Oh, did y'all, do y'all like that text-to-speech? That's fun, right? Yeah, Vaporeon on count too. <laughs> the Phoenix Downs so sound like it, I cannot unhear an L. So we basically just attack until he gets close enough to doink. And then we're all going to run away. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for the tier one sub, Bird. Um, for those of you guys that are subscribing, you can join my Discord if you like. There is a um, subscriber-only uh, chat in there if you are interested in that sort of thing. It's a lot of fun. Okay. He's getting pretty close. Bird Unleashed gifted a tier one sub to Chronic Crits. They have given two gift subs in the channel. Bird, you are too nice. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. You're the best. What the heck? Where have you been all my life, new bestie? Okay, I think this is the, his last walk up and then next he'll be, he'll be doinking. So he needs to run away. Okay, so we attack him one more time. Yep, and he's too close now. So now we escape. Everybody run away. Run away, run away. Everybody run away. Look at that. Oh my god. Look at all those sphere levels. Look at all the Kendra, I'm not troubleshooting that right now. It's gonna it's not gonna work. Evie's broken. I'm so sorry, friend. <laughs> Stop spending your points. I can't give them back for that redeem. <laughs> I'll have to fix Evie after the stream. Um, cause I know he was working before, so something happened. So here we go. Look at this. Oh my God. Wow. Amazing. Okay. So we can do that for everybody. Like, let's do, let's get in formation. Okay, formation. Let's do Orin. And we'll do Yuna. And we'll do Lulu. Oh, it worked? <laughs> yeah, the um, Phoenix Downs, the sound of the Phoenix Downs sounds just like Vaporeon's cry. Um, go and listen to Vaporeon's cry. They sound basically identical. <laughs> so every time we use a Phoenix Down, it's Vaporeon crying. Okay, so we need to set him to Stoic. So Orin's going to be our attacker in this case. And here we go. We're going to fight. And we're going to get a gajillion levels. Oh no, it's Area Conquest. I keep trying to go to Species Conquest. Okay, I see all the other gifts are working. All the other gifts are working, so interesting. It is just Eevee that broke somehow. I'll fix, I'll fix him. Don't worry, guys. I'll fix Eevee before next week. But yeah, I'm not super worried about the carpet exactly because, um... For those of y'all that have not heard yet, closing date is finally coming! We're gonna close on the new house on Friday! Oh my god, y'all, I'm so excited! Close on the new house on Friday, and the next Friday after that, we're gonna close on selling this house. <sighs> the saga is almost over, y'all. It has taken the amount of time it takes to birth a child to go through all of this house stuff. Nobody, okay, nobody do what I did and try to go through buying and selling a house while the supply chain has gone, been going bonkers. Okay, don't do it. Okay, don't do it. <sighs> Y'all, it's ridiculous. It's the supply chain, the amount of time everything takes. Like, honestly, Kendra, it did. All things considered, it has gone fast. Um, you know, there are plenty of other things that it could have, could have caused a lot of delays. But, um, but yeah, 
but yeah, uh, it has actually gone fast in reality. January, we started this process literally between, it was between Christmas and New Year's that we finally pulled the trigger and we're going to start. So it was like December, maybe, I don't know, 27th or 28th. And then we had our first appointment at the beginning of January. Um, so literally like January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August. <laughs> <laughs> like almost the amount of time it takes to birth a child. It is redonkulous. Um, but I'm so excited. It's finally all coming to fruition. Um, I cannot wait for all of this saga to be done with and us to be in like a house that is actually suitable for us. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Almost, almost full baby time. Seriously. Um, absolutely bonkers. Okay, I think he might be, I think this might be the last time. Yeah, 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 he's close enough. Okay, time to escape. Time to escape. Yeah, five Vaporeons. It takes five Vaporeons. My, it does feel like my baby. My god, it does feel like my baby. Okay, you see all them levels? Man, that's a lot of levels. That's a lot of levels, you guys. Okay, let's get Kimari up here. And let's see, who has the least? So Lulu and Yuna have the least. So they'll stay in and we'll change him over to uh, Stoic. So he'll be our fighty fight person. Yeah, Nilla Wafers Caramel Dancing, our new house. <laughs> oh. Yeah, if anybody is looking into home ownership, don't do what I did. Give it a few years for the market to settle down and the supply chain to settle down. Like, not right now. Not right now. Check what's going on again in 2023. Just save your money. Like, just save your money for right now. <laughs> if you're in that position. <sighs> Ugh. <sighs> it's finally here. It's gonna finally be here. Can't wait, seriously. Can't wait. Oh, you can actually see this trick. Notice how Lulu's overdrive is not going up. That's because all the overdrive is getting converted into AP. So that's like how the trick works. I didn't explain that very well, um, but that's how the trick works. There are specific videos on YouTube that are like how to do the Don Tonberry leveling trick in this game that will actually like fully explain it to you in detail. Funny enough, today I visited with my brother in his apartment. Oh yeah. How was the visit? Was it nice? <laughs> Are you saying like he owns that apartment? <clears throat> so yeah, freaking soon. Freaking soon. It was nice. We spent most of it talking and people watching. I love that. Oh, I love that. He's renting. Oh, I see. Yeah, we rented most of our lives too. I don't know. We have so many new friends. I can guess, I guess I can tell the story of like how we stopped renting and bought this house. It's kind of a little bit bonkers. Um, it's been a really long time since I've told this story. Okay. So about five years ago now we were renting, we were renting, um, a trailer actually and it was very nice people that hate on trailers y'all don't know um it was actually like really really cool i'm pretty sure this is it's time to escape i think um it was very nice it was very nice and we were gonna we were gonna renew the lease and live there another year and we thought like oh very cool and then um when it came that time the uh oh oh no kimari did not escape uh oh <laughs> Oh no, and nobody's here to Phoenix down him. Kimari, poor baby. Kimari. Oh no, Don Tom Mary did not want me to tell the story. Well, we're gonna revive Kimari and let's do that again so he can get AP too. Oh boy, poor baby. Uh, let's see. We'll still do Yuna and Lulu, that's fine. All right. So our landlord was like, um, you know, I trust you guys. We don't need to sign a lease. And we were like, excuse, we would like to sign a lease, please. And he said, nah, 
And so we were like, hmm, this is strange. This is very strange. We did not like it. Okay, we were not happy. And we started thinking something weird was going on. Now, our landlord was a weird dude. Most landlords are weird dudes. Okay, let's be real. Let's be real. And so we started getting suspicious that um, he was trying to kick us out. And so we got nervous. Um, we asked my parents to help us figure out what the heck to do. And they ended up helping us on a down payment on this house right here. But because we were pretty confident that like every single month there was a possibility we were about to get kicked out, we um, kind of rushed into buying this house. And uh, and but we made it, though. We we got in this house and we bailed on him. Literally, we were like, we were like, bye, we're leaving. We're only paying half this month's rent. And he was like, what? You are doing what now? And we said, yeah, well, we didn't sign a lease by. And he got real mad. And we were like, well, you can keep the deposit. That shut him up. He did not care anymore. He didn't bother us anymore. Um, we moved into this house. One week later, because we were just curious. We were just curious. This dude was from New York, and he had all of his family live in New York. We drove by the old house, and oh... What did we see? Three cars that were not the landlord's or the landlord's wife with New York license plates. He literally was trying to get rid of us to bring his friends and family in, which is exactly what we thought he was doing. Well, we were right. There was all those cars there, not even a week later. I guess he called them and was like, okay, y'all, they're gone. Come the fuck on. And so, uh, yeah, they did. And um, that's how we ended up with this house, <laughs> is we literally thought our landlord was sneaky trying to kick us out and make us homeless, and we're pretty sure we were right. No, why, Kimari? Try again, sir. There we go. <clears throat> Yay, look at that. Lots of, lots of AP. Okay. Now, the whole reason I farmed up spheres is because, wow, look at this. Oh my gosh, we got so much, we can level everybody up like crazy. Okay, look, oh my. We can go anywhere. We can do anything. We can get all the spheres, all the levels. Um, Cause what we learned before, that for the last two species conquests, I'm pretty sure that I was just like, not leveled up enough. They were significantly harder than um, the other ones that we had done. I just didn't think it was going to work out. You know what I'm saying? So here we go. We're going to level up. We're going to level up. I um, also got to try his gaming chair. Ooh, you got to try his gaming chair. I um, have back problems and can't sit in normal desk chairs because I need something supporting my lower back because my butt goes forward when I sit. I know what you mean, my friend. Um, also, hilariously, my brother's apartment is literally next to the building where I work. Oh, that's cool. So, hey, if you ever needed it, you could easily spend the night at his place. You know, isn't that cool? Um, very convenient. Um, his balcony and his window of his room where I usually sit and look out at the same place. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Is it a good location? I, I mean, I assume if there's office buildings there, then it's a good location. Oh, oh, lady, you, um, you have this game turned on for you too. Oh, awesome. Do you use this game in your stream? I don't remember when I was in there today and the other day if I saw this game pop up. So many people have it, you know? Um, let's go over here. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't have any fortune spheres, so I can't unlock any of those. For shame. Look at that. So easy. So easy when you have so many spheres. I don't have it in mind. I stream directly from my PS4, so I struggle with lots of bots and stuff. Oh, I see, I see. Okay, so you literally use like the PS4 like tools to stream. Um, it's not just that you're streaming via your PS4. I see what you're saying. You never know, you know, you never know what kind of setup people have, but that's cool. I mean, I think it's really neat that consoles like literally let you stream from the console. I think that's like so nice, you know? 
He works a regular shift, so I don't know if that would happen. But yeah, if the trains fuck up somehow. Exactly, that's what I'm thinking. My brother is home, I'd have a place to chill while I wait for the trains to chill out. Yeah. I, won't, I, I mean, if I were you, I'd ask for a key for exactly that reason. Like, hey, bro, um, you know how it's cool that you live really close to my work? <laughs> um, can I get a key, friend? You know, just in case I ever needed it. But I'm not shy like that, you know? <laughs> uh, what is this skill? Do I want to go get this? Delay attack. Uh, sure. Let's go get delay attack. Oh, I can't quite... Oh, you know, I can make it. I can make it. I can make it. I can make it. Okay, Kimari's way leveled up. Who's next? It's Lulu. Lulu is next. Man, I so neglected Lulu after I finished the main story. I feel kind of bad. I feel kind of bad, but I, like, super neglected her. i sorry, Lulu. You were... You fell so behind. You fell so behind, friend. Um, but we're gonna fix it right now. And then we're gonna go fight some monsters. You're gonna be way more powered up. It's gonna be real cool. Okay. We need, we need to move. Yeah, I have a terrible laptop and a terrible desktop working on getting a decent PC, though. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you know of a place... I don't know. You probably already know about this. I'm probably just, like, sharing information. Like, I know Karen. Oh my god, shut up. Um... But I'm going to tell you anyway. Maybe it's for other people that don't know. You know, uh, I Buy Power gets has really uh, nice pre-built PCs, so they make it easy. And they're pretty cheap. Um, if you want to make things simple on yourself and don't want to do too much research or fiddling or things like that. Um, we've, bought in, we've bought some PCs from there just to reduce the hassle, even though we kind of do know what we're doing at my house. But um, it had pretty good experiences. No complaints, you know? Are they available in the UK? Oh, good question. I kind of had assumed the answer was yes, but I wouldn't actually know. So that would just be me talking out my ass. You'd have to go look. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, they maybe they don't. I don't know. Supply chains are weird now, so... I kind of just assume if something will ship to the US, it'll ship to the UK, but that's not necessarily true. I assume if it's a big company, they would, but I don't know. Maybe they don't. Another thing that you can do in this game in regards to stat maxing is all of these blank spheres. Get them filled in by farming up um, these purple guys right here. We have 99 magic defense spheres. This is because I killed one eye so many times and he drops them. Um, farming those weapons. So I have a ton of those, but not much of the others. You can actually max out your stats by filling in these blank spheres here. I don't know if I'll need to do that for like penance and stuff like that when we get there. I guess I'll f we'll, f we'll find out together if that is necessary or not. A lot of places don't do international, especially after COVID hit. Yeah, you're probably right. Like, I started to think about that, like, as I was, as the words were coming out my mouth, and I was like, you know what? Post-COVID, I don't actually know. I don't actually know. Um, that could be a totally different situation uh, nowadays. Everything's so jacked. So jacked. Oh my god. Um, the world is crazy. The world is crazy, and it's getting crazier. You know what I'm saying? I literally, I had my yearly uh, appointment with my gyno recently, and I asked her, I was like, so what's it take to get your tubes tied, my friend? How was that? What is that like? You know, what does that mean? We talked about it a little bit. Kind of thinking about it. I don't know. I don't necessarily agree with getting surgeries that you don't need, and I don't need it, but like, it might literally just make me feel better and feel safer. <laughs> That's so sad. That's so sad, but it tr it's true, friends. It's true, friends. Um, it's the world, the world we live in. Absolutely insane. So yeah. Lulu's gonna be so powered up, y'all. So powered up. Yeah, we go down here. And this, by the way, for you guys that have not watched the rest of this, 
This is standard sphere grid. Um, I'm using, you know, old school style. I kept old school style sphere grid. I chose to use the old um, rendition of all the music, not the updated ones. This was a very nostalgia game for me. And if you love Final Fantasy X, like I love Final Fantasy X, you can um, go on my YouTube channel, my socials, go on my YouTube channel and find the playlist of all of these. This is probably one of the games that I know the most about. Um, you know, everybody has that plays games has those couple of games that they just kind of like got obsessed with and know everything there is to know about that game. This is kind of like one of those games for me. I I know like everything, <laughs> everything about this game. Oh, I don't got no level four key spheres right, right now. That's okay. I don't need them. Getting in there is unimportant because I can't use the fortune spheres anyway. I was going to unlock it as I was passing by, but it's so not necessary. Who do I actually want to use for Sleep Sprout? So Sleep Sprout is the next one that we're going to fight. Um, I know I need to use Orin, so I should probably go do Orin's Sphere Grid next. So he's leveled up because he has my ribbon armor and absolutely need him for fucking the good night bullshit. But I'm not sure who else I should use. I guess whoever does lots of damage or maybe is fast, like, but no, because it's the counter. He counters with that stupid good night thing. So maybe I actually should use Lulu for her magic. Can't remember if he counters on magic. I know he counters when you use physical. But I cannot remember if he counters magic. Oh, nope, too far. Maybe I should use Lulu and Orin and Yuna. Ah, thank you so much, Koneko. Thank you so much. Because I think what I'm going to do, like, do Lulu's, I'll do Orin's. And then who, whatever the other person is that I'm going to use, and then I'm going to go do a fight, and then we'll do more levels. So then we're not just sitting and watching levels over and over. Have a little break in between. I think that would be best. Because this does take a minute. I can't just be, like, level. For all spells the Sleep Sprout uses, bar Ultima, use Reflect as a handy defense. Okay, I do remember that. Um... Yeah, less than 9999 HP. That's good. That's good. Making Makes killing it the fastest way to farm dark matter. Oh, that is good to know. So we can make more ribbons, potentially, maybe if I want to, like, bother with that. Being rooted to the ground has zero evasion. Okay, that makes sense. Of course. Um, celestial weapons. Orin's moss immune. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yes, Orin will do lots of damage if his HP is low. Okay, auto Regan. Um, it opens with good night. Yep. Good night will also be used as a counter to all physical attacks. Third level spells. It's weak to fire. Okay. So yeah, I think I need to use my magic ladies. We're gonna we're gonna get magician on it. Okay, so let's go to Orin. So we'll level up Orin, we'll level up Yuna, and then we'll go fight Sleep Sprout. That good night just wrecked me. And I just have so many bad memories <laughs> from the Sprouts that kept killing, uh, killing me and like ruining my life in the um, Cavern of the Stolen Faith back when we were in that part of the game getting Yojimbo um, that I was just like, nope, nope, nope. I remember we fought him, he used Good Knight, and then I realized Good Knight was a counter that he was going to use like every time I attacked him. And I was like, fuck this, not right now. <laughs> we'll come back to you, friend. So we are hopefully, hopefully these levels mean I'm going to absolutely wreck his world. Um, we're going to find out. We're going to find out. Hopefully good news. So yeah, um, what do y'all think? Like, I said this at the beginning of the stream, but it was literally, like, upon opening. I think I'm adding, like, the, a name to this space, right? You know how, like, the Discord server is called the cafe? I want, like, a name for the space of this stream that kind of ties 
both my Thursday and Saturday streams together, because I have names for those, right? Saturday is Inner Stage Window, and Thursday is Artistic License, but I want a name that ties them together. So I think, like, like the, the favorite idea I have right now is the Playhouse, because it's kind of like, you know, you go watch plays at the Playhouse, right? So it's about stories, it's about acting, um, it's, a bit, it's like artistic, which is all the things that I'm, like, quite about and that I try to, like, embody on my streams because I'm all about like wanting to share stories and share experiences with you guys and um you know and share learning and things like that so I don't know but I would love to hear if you guys have uh different ideas about what you think the space could be called because I am really leaning towards playhouse but um I've only been thinking about it for a couple of days so like better ideas might exist that have not occurred to me yet you know what I mean that maybe fit my whole stream vibe a bit Better. I know I don't want to call it the cafe. Like, I want to give it a different name than the Discord server. You know, because the Discord server is a bit different. The Discord server really is communal for all of us. Whereas the stream... I mean, everybody, of course, can participate in the chat and things like that. But um, only certain people want to actually come on my stream, you know? Um, not every single one of, you know, my friends is interested in that sort of thing. So it's just a little bit, it's a little bit different kind of vibe than the Discord server. So yeah, if y'all have thoughts on that, I would love to hear them. No pressure if you don't have thoughts though, that's okay too. Gosh, there's a lot of blank spears right around here. All right, very cool. Oh, this is as far as he can go. Can he go... Oh, he... How many... Oh, he only has three. Okay, well, we'll move... We'll move... To here. We'll go around... Um, yes, and get these guys down here. Oh no, there's like a small, this is a smaller chunk over here. I should have gone over here. Oh well, we'll go over there later. All right, Yuna, Yuna friend, let's go. Let's get you leveled up. I neglected you when we were doing monster capturing too, so you fell behind. I think of the theater, the playhouse makes me think of more like those kitty playhouses people put in their backyard. Oh, oh, I see, I see, I see. Uh, yeah, not playhouse like a playhouse, a backyard playhouse, like a playhouse like where, like, you go for a community theater or something like that. Do you think just the theater, though? Do you think that's a good name? I don't- I don't hate it. Um... Do you think that makes sense to call, like, Welcome to the Theater? Does that make you think of movies or plays or both? Like, when you say theater, does your mind first go to movies or plays? We definitely spend time talking about movies. So I don't know, maybe that's appropriate? We talk about all kinds of media. Movies, plays, TV shows. All of it. We've definitely done each. You know, at least some of each at this point. Since the stream has started. Which way do I want to go? Oh, we'll go down that way. Oh, I should have zoomed out a long time ago. This is so much easier. <clears throat> now I can see everything. What is this skill down here? Nab Gill. Oh, okay. Sweet. Okay, let's go back up to here. Yeah, 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 I should have zoomed out. I should have zoomed out. This is so way easier. There's a lot of keys here that we need to unlock. We can get at some of this stuff.
That's a level two. Yes. This feels so satisfying, unlocking all these key, the key spheres. It is a little hard. Yuna's name is taking up a lot of space on the screen, though, I have to say. Um, <laughs> I wish when I zoomed out, her name got small, too. <laughs> so it was not blocking. That would be nice. Okay. What's this ability? Demi. Okay. That's a level... Oh, I need to get some level 4 key spheres to proceed down there. Oh, I unlocked it from the other direction instead of this direction. Okay, well, let's take Yuna this direction then. Maybe we can unlock on the way back. Because I get a... I, I'm pretty sure I can bribe level 4 key spheres from something, but I have to double check um, what I need to bribe it from. Because I did not... I did not note that because I didn't realize I would need level 4 key spheres. We'll go get this ability too. Ooh, death. Nice. Although, like, everything is immune to death, so... <laughs> what the heck is the point? You can't use it really on any bosses. Like, they're either immune to it or they're, like, resisted so hard that it does not matter. <laughs> Uh, you know, if you can only hit it on, like, a single digit percent, what the heck is the point in trying to use death? Um, it's not going to work anyway. Okay. Go down here. What's this ability? Double cast. Oh, fuck yeah. I do need double cast. Amazing. Okay, I know I didn't quite use up her spheres, but I'm going to stop there. So I, I can go ahead and unlock these if I just farm some up. And she's plenty. Like, this is plenty. Okay. Let's put Orin in front. And we definitely need to change their overdrives. Let's make them all comrade. <clears throat> all right. All right, commies, let's go. We're gonna save, because that was a lot of work to do all those spheres. And let's try again. Sleep Sprout. Okay. You, me, you going down, friend. You going down. Going down. You going down, Sleep Sprout. Okay. He opens with his bullshit. Oh no, I don't have their celestial weapons on, because I'm dumb. <laughs> Let's flee. Oops. I left their AP weapons on. That was silly. Okay. Smash! Kendra! Kendra Smash! Leaf Sprout. <laughs> uh, if he wants to be Leaf Sprout, I guess he could be. Okay, so we want... Yeah, Moss Immune, Onion Knight... Uh, Nirvana, uh, Caldebog, God Hand, Red Lance, World Champion. Okay, I fixed it. They have their right weapons now. Okay, let's try that again. <laughs> Just kidding, you guys. <laughs> this time for real. Okay. Kendra, why smash? All this thing wants to do is destroy me, and I hate it so much. Like, so much. Um, it's ridiculous. This is, like, my worst enemy so far. 
the stupid sleep sprout. So tell me why. <clears throat> Okay. Enemies. We are we enemies to lovers shipping this? Cuz he is absolutely my enemy. Okay. Um let's do remedy on Lulu. All right. So um, he's weak to fire, so let's do a Fyraga Fury. Enemies to boring? Okay. Oh, gosh! Oh, I'm doing so good! Oh, some- I just- I had some mojo going there! I've never gotten so many! Wow! Wow, self! Sweet! Okay. Okay. Um, oh, Yuna doesn't get another turn before she goes again. Okay. Uh, what have I got going on? We'll do some mega potions. We'll do two mega potions. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's a good idea. Ah, uh, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Oof. Ouchie. Okay. Um. Do I want to overdrive? He doesn't have like tons of health. I think I this feel it feels silly. Let's not overdrive. Let's let her double cast. Let's double cast Ultima. Boom. He doesn't have much HP, but wow, look at that magic defense. Look at it. And that's with Banishing Blade, so he's already broken. And that's all the damage I'm doing. Oh, but Orin's got his Overdrive again. Okay, let's go for it. Let's Banishing Blade again. It's weak to fire. Yeah, when I did um, a Fyraga Fury with Lulu, it wasn't doing that much damage, but I'll try a regular Fyraga. Okay, that did 19k. Um, oh, we need special. Yeah, we'll um, double cast. Oh, this is the other thing that I changed. I changed my settings so that this it sticks where I was because I was like literally doing the same fight like over and freaking over. Um, there's a little bit more. I think it was doing 1,000 or something. I don't know. That did two and three. I want to go double cast Ultima just one more time. Yeah, they do about the same. It doesn't make a huge difference, it looks like. Stupid Regan. Um, okay. Because he's going to counter with Good Knight if I attack with Orin, so that's silly. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ultima. We'll do that. <clears throat> okay, Chimera Brains is where you get the level 4 key spheres. I just double checked so we can get some level 4 key spheres next after this fight. Okay. <clears throat> it's such a bummer when I have to like whittle them down with the spells and I can't use any physical attacks like my physical attacks are just really strong they're like way stronger I've spent more time I guess on like Waka and Orin and those characters because they're so useful with the monster arena 
Um, does Orin know copycat? Wait, it would be under special. You know copycat, friend? You do not know copycat. Um, but I can't switch you out because you're the one with the ribbon armor. So that just is what it is. Oh, but he has use. Oh, we can use our... We have two Albed potions, y'all. <laughs> I can't believe we still have Albed potions in our inventory. But there you go. <laughs> uh, amusing. I guess we could have orange cheer. And it's not really going to do anything, but it'll make us feel good. <laughs> to have him cheer. <sighs> oh, Dino. See if I can catch that. Ouchie. I just, I just feel like I did all that leveling up. It feels like cheating if I just pull out an Aeon. So I don't want to do it. And I want to have Yuna's Aeon, like her Grand Summon, available for the next boss. I mean, if he... How much health did you say he has? He only has 99k. 99k is not that much. I have to be getting close to have been doing 99k. That's right. We're gonna own it. Like, we just did all that leveling up. We're gonna beat him without Aeons. We're gonna do it. I'm not gonna be cheap and cheesy. Okay. Next boss. Next boss maybe will be cheap and cheesy. And do some Aeons. <laughs> but we're gonna double cast Ultima. And I am doing more damage than his Regan. Because I'm doing 3k, and then it'll be another 3k. It's not cheap if you earned it. I hear what you're saying, Kendra. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that would be like 6k, and he only heals 2k. So yeah. Do another Albed potion. Yeah, we're good. Oh man, but he healed a lot when I just healed with Orin. I wonder if I'm just not doing damage fast enough. And his Regan is keeping him, like, afloat. I might just have to attack with Orin and deal with the good knight. Or I might really do need to bust out an Aeon. Because he still did the Regan whenever Orin took a turn to heal. So he's like catching back up. I'm pretty sure I cannot dispel that Regan. <laughs> We're just gonna do it. No, because then if. If I don't do enough damage to kill him, then he's going to good night me. It's not worth it. It's not worth it, Karen. It's not worth it. Stop. Stop. Um. But we've got, like, things to do fire damage. Let's use, use the fire gem. There, that did a couple thousand damage. Hey! Oren was the one that got him. Good job, Oren. Good job, friend. You did it. Okay, sweet. All right, Sleep Sprout, my nemesis is defeated. Okay, um, let's go and... Oh, we need Riku. We need Riku. So let's do... Put Riku in. And we need to get, just double checked it, what is it? Chimera Brains, okay. So we're gonna go to Calm Lands, Chimera Brains, and we're gonna bribe them, we're gonna get some um, level four key spheres. Booyah, indeed, Koneko. Yeehaw, here we go. 
All right. Um, we're going to bribe. We need to bribe for 196. So we'll do 200. 200,000. Okay. Oh, absolutely smash on the Chimera Brains. Like, are you kidding me? Every color palette of that model. Smash. 100%. Okay, we only got two. Let's do one more. Oh, another thing that I need to tell you guys. Um, I put a comment. Oh, it didn't work. Um, I put a comment, a pinned comment in the YouTube video of my stray VOD. But um, I did manage to figure out how to play without triggering my simulation sickness. Uh, a very lovely person on the Steam forums uh, posted a fix that I think this fix was really intended to make the graphical fidelity of the game better, um, but it actually fixed the... It actually fixed the thing that was causing my simulation sickness as well. And apparently it worked for some others too. So Koneko, that was the thing that you had uh, alerted me to. You were like, oh, there's a, a thing in this thread. Um, and yes, it totally worked. I uh, I was able to, to do that and um, make the simulation sickness go away. Basically. So you will find a link to that in the pinned comment of my stray YouTube video, the VOD for that. If you had issues as well. Yeah, I was really, really happy. I think I'm about halfway through the game at this point. I have not beaten it yet. Um, still, like, that camera angle is a bit disorienting. So even though it's not triggering my simulation sickness directly, because it did already trigger my simulation sickness once upon a time, it's still a little bit, you know, nerve-wracking to play. So I'm playing it for, like, one or two hour stints and then putting it down and I'm really trying to take my time with it and like explore the world because I think that's what's so fun about the game so the point where I am right now I think I'm, excuse me about halfway through and I think I'm, I'm playing it quite slowly because I've been playing I have like four four hours of playtime or something like that and people say you can beat it in five or six but I think I'm only about halfway I don't think I'm over halfway at this point um, but I'm really enjoying it. I'm really enjoying it. I have never seen a game that simulates cat stuff as well as this one. Like, other games with cats, um, they don't simulate the catness part of it as well as this game. Like, everything about this game, it's- the cat is so cat. Like, <laughs> am I making any sense, you guys, when I say, like, the cat is so cat? Because- it really is. This cat is like a hundred percent cat. And it just blows my mind at like every little movement it makes and uh, the way it behaves and the way it pays attention to things. Um, I just love it. Oh, we need another, we need another level four key sphere. Let's go, let's go get one. Astral Spiff already tried a no running challenge and he got a hilarious glitch that resulted in Quantum Kitty. Is that the clip that you linked us, Koneko, in the stream chat in the Discord? Um, if so, I laughed my booty off watching that. It was so funny. It was so funny. He just like kept bloop, 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 teleporting to the ledge, to the ground, to the ledge, to the ground, to the ledge, to the ground. It was so funny. <laughs> All right, we're going to bribe him again. We need some more key spheres, friendo. Yeah, this is the teleporting cat. I love that. <clears throat> How does, if he's doing, so if that was like um, a no running challenge, that would be really hard in the sections where you have to run away from the Zerks. Like, that would be really, really hard. So he, if he got all the way to that spot where I saw the glitch, like, he did, he's doing damn good. He's doing damn good to get that far um, with that kind of challenge. Did I see some for Orin? Yes. Okay. Let's move down here. We're going to unlock this. Okay, we can't actually do anything with that yet, so we're actually going to go back. Uh, backtrack a little bit. Um, we want to go back this way. This is as far back. 
It's really hard. He did it by dunking them, but it took a lot of effort. Yeah, I guess that's how you would have to do it. Oh my god, I would not have the patience. I would not have the patience to do those sections without running. <laughs> They're hard. They're hard sections. Um, I don't know if he actually beat the game like that. I guess I'll find out if the video pops up on his YouTube. Well, I'm curious now, so I'm probably going to go look. Um, but yeah, that would be... This game would be really hard. Those sections would be really hard with no running. So, if he did it, like... That's some real serious pro gamer shit. Um, because that game just came out. Figuring out how to do it with, with no running, I think, would be a big challenge. Yeah, because there's, like, there's multiple sections of the game where you have to run away from the Zerks or, like, you know, corral them in certain ways or outsmart them or whatever, and doing it without running would be, like, ridiculous. There's one part in particular where I, for whatever reason, it took me forever to figure out the way you were supposed to path to, like, not get eaten. <laughs> And did you know, there's an achievement for dying nine times in that game. And I got it. <laughs> I was like, what? I, like, I kept dying over and over. And then like an achievement popped up and I was like, what? And it was so, I was like, uh oh, <laughs> so funny. So funny. So funny. But yeah, that game's good. If you have not, if anybody listening has not gotten a chance to play it yet, like you need to fix that shit. You need to fix that shit real quick. Okay, let's go down here. We can just go everywhere. We've got so many spheres. We can just go all over the fucking place. Anywhere we want. Any way we want it. That's the way you need it. Look at how far he can go. You went through all kitty lives. I did! I went through all kitty lives! Luckily, I did not get a game over. The game is not that cruel that you only get so many lives for real. Um, but I did laugh when the achievement popped up. I was not expecting that. <laughs> it was just one particular section that was giving me, like, a lot of fucking trouble. Um, I think coming down here? Yeah, let's come down here. We'll unlock this. Whee! Path all around. Someone on Spiff's stream made a joke about that. <laughs> oh, I believe it. I believe it. It was really funny when it popped up. I was highly amused. Um, there's another game that Levi's been playing that I'm very amused by, but I cannot play it because it's first person, so I will absolutely get my simulation sickness triggered. But it's kind of mem mesmerizing when he plays it. It's literally like Power Washer. Um you power wash, you clean things, and you just watch the dirt fall off. And it is just like, it is so, it is like so satisfying looking. Um, and it's like, you literally just watch stuff. So he's almost like, pretends like it's not fun, but it's literally like, so fun. Um, I know he's having fun because he won't stop playing it. And I'm having a lot of fun watching. Uh, it's hilarious. Okay, where do we want to go next with Waka? I guess we want to go back. Let's see. I guess we could go just over here. Oh, this is as far back as we can go. Okay, for right now. That's fine. Power Washer Simulator. Yes, 8-Bit Drummer played that on stream a few times. It's so satisfying. It's so satisfying. Oh my god. It's like amazing. Um... Okay, Titus. Um, the next guy that we have to fight is Juggernaut. He's a ruminant type fiend. We definitely need Orin. And we definitely need Yuna, I'm pretty sure. So I think we're gonna stop there with the leveling up. And let's put Orin, Yuna, and Waka in the party. Let's fight. Okay. Juggernaut. Let's see. Let's see if we can beat him. He just, like, absolutely fucking wrecked me last time. Absolutely fucking wrecked me. Um. <laughs> it did not go well. It did not go well. Okay. Let's do an all break. Yeah, we'll do a full break. Like that. Boom. 
We're definitely going to Grand Summon. I'm not going to, um, you know, play. I'm not going to play. We're going to Grand Summon our Magus Sisters. Strength, Defense, and Magical Immunity can be tough to defeat. Thank you, Kitty. I believe in me, too. With Koneko's help, we can do it. Um... An armored creature. Yep, he's armored. Yep, yep. Um, normal attacks can flick heavy damage. Will Crush Spike use afterward? Yeah, Crush Spike is what absolutely fucking destroyed me. It will use basic physical attacks against Aeons. Okay, that's good to know. Um, combined powers, girlies. Since both of the regular attack and Crush Spike are physical attacks, one character could use Sentinel to receive them in place of other characters. This character will need to use Protect to help survive the damage. An armor with death proof to withstand the instant kill of Crush Spike. Alternatively, if another character has Auto Phoenix on their armor, it's possible to just let Sentinel die to Crush Spike and then revive them. Well, I do have Auto Phoenix. Are those horns or tentacles? Those are horns on his back, my friend. Those are horns on this type of monster. Now let's see what. Let's see how far we can get with um with our you know our cheaty cheat ladies. Our cheat bugs. <clears throat> see what they see if they can, you know, do enough to really get him down. Cause he doesn't have Regan or anything like that. Oof, that salvo hurts. But hey, like look at how awesome my Aeons are now that Yuna is like leveled up. Ooh, he's immune. He's immune to that spell. That is interesting. Okay, good to know. Well we learned that. So you pretty much need to physical attack him, I guess. Yeah, he's immune to flare too. I was not I'm not surprised. Looks like he's immune to magic stuff. <clears throat> he's immune to magic. Okay. That makes sense. Well, little bee lady. Hello. Stop trying to magic. It's not going to work. She's going to try all of her spells, because the AI is fucking stupid. Yep, she is. Kay. Kay, please. Stop. I mean, they're doing really well, though. They're doing really well. But I guess against Aeons, he doesn't use the Crush Spike, though. So. She's just wasting- you're just wasting your turns, Kay. You're wasting your turns. Emma's got the ticket. You need to attack just like she's doing. Bio's not gonna do anything either. Ah, oh, silly. Silly Kay. Silly Kay. So, Kitty, what's going on in your life right now? I feel like I got good life updates from Koneko. But what's, what's going on in the kitty life? Hell yeah! All that leveling up did a lot. Nice. I knew I wanted to save, um... Save that... Overdrive that Yuna had. Okay, so that's Juggernaut. Kill him with Aeons. Booyah! I did it! I did it! Oh, how long have you been at the new job now, Koneko? I feel like it's been three weeks? Two weeks? It's not been quite a month yet, has it? Or is my sense of time, like, all jacked up? Um, I will say this move has absolutely destroyed my brain, so, um, that might be the case. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay, I think we're going to keep this same group. We're going to keep the same group for our last Species Conquest of Ironclad. Got a bunch of big pine trees cut down next to my house? Hell yeah! Nice, pine trees are a nuisance, okay? A nuisance, I say. All they do is dump pine straw on your house, which destroys everything. Um, And now I have so much sunshine and no pine needles everywhere. I fucking love that for you. Yeah, this is ironclad. This is ironclad. He's immune to all magic except holy. Okay, good to know. So, we can't double cast holy, though. Bummer. We can just regular cast holy. 
they were filled with squirrels eating my car wires. I believe it. I mean, we have pine trees at this house. You know what's not at the new house? There's no pine trees at the new house. I'm so excited. <laughs> I hate them shits. All they do is dump pine needles on my roof, and you have to get up there and clean them off. Otherwise, your roof is going to get destroyed. <laughs> it's not fair. <laughs> uh, okay, let's attack reels this bitch. Damn it. That was bad. Bad attack reels. So now they're homeless. Take that nature. They'll find new pine trees and car wires to chew and people to torture with their craziness. Yeah. Pine trees are ridiculous. Uh, let's see what's happening. Um, I guess I can heal somewhat before this guy destroys me. I think he's about to destroy me because I haven't been keeping up with healing. Oh, oh no. Oh, I love that. Oh, I love that. Let's banishing blade this bitch. Yes. Um, Ironclad's attacks are physical. Its primary technique is the Repageki. A quick sword strike on one character. It uses counterattack response to damage on its turn. It'll use Repageki, then Bushin, Zan. That's the all characters one. Yeah, Bushin, Zan is what absolutely destroyed me before. And then the more powerful Shinryu Don is a jump attack. Okay, against Aeons, it will only use Repageki. Best option is to use Celestial Weapons. Okay, doing that. Um, Ironclad's not immune to magic or mental break, but only work 5% of the time due to its magic mental break resistance. Okay. While Ironclad is not immune to armor break. Okay, same thing. Frag Grenade or Orange Banishing Blade Overdrive will be more effective. Yes, okay, I just did that. Fabulous. Characters have evasion. Almost all of Ironclad's Repageki attacks will miss. Okay, so Waka was a good choice here. There's no special stats on this guy. Just beat him up until he dies. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. We can do it. We can do it, y'all. Okay, there's no there's no reason to do any of this. I just need to regular attack. Just boom, like that. Okay. Just boom, like that. Little drink first, gotta have it. Yes. <laughs> oh, but it's... Okay, let's... um. Okay, let's grand summon... Let's grand summon our favorite, Giggles. Um, let's do a... Let's do a... Uh, let's do a big old mother-in-law attack. <clears throat> you know, Koneko, since you said theater, the more I'm thinking about it, the more I'm kind of, like, loving it. The theater. The theater? Welcome to the theater. Welcome to the theatra. Welcome to the theater. Oh, yeah. Anima's amazing. Beautiful, creepy, awesome. Wow, leveling up Yuna, like, really fucking helped. Damn. My anima's even better now. My anima's fucking bomb. Thanks, mom. Sorry I killed your son. Not really, you wanted that. <clears throat> okay, okay. If you name it theater, you can make a pun at the end. I hope you enjoyed the show. Ah, go Neko, your puns are A class. No, S tier. S tier puns, friend. All right. Bye, Giggles. It was fun while it lasted. <clears throat> yep, yep. Okay. Um, I need to heal my friends. All right. Come on, Waka. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the show. I like that. The the theater. We just need to attack. Man, that Repageki is still, like, destroying me. Okay, let's do better attack reels this time. There we go. That's the stuff. That's what we like to see. <gasps> Bree! Oh my god, Bree! How are you doing, friend? I haven't seen you on a Thursday stream in forever. Grow us up! Oh, fuck yeah. Good job, Waka. Okay. Well, that just proves for Ironclad all we really needed to do was level up. And that was just all that there was to it. All right. Let's see. Um, let's get them their extra sphere. 
Wait, where's Orin at? Oh, he's over there. Um, I guess I can go... I want to go this way. As far as I can get? Okay. Waka, I guess we can go... I guess we can go this way. Go down this way. Right, you know. Hello! Okay, you guys, guess what? That's all the species conquests. We gotta- we're moving on to original conquests next. Can you fucking believe it? We actually did it. We did all the species conquests. We've done all the area conquests. Next, it is time for the original conquest, which I have not researched at all. So what we're gonna do... <laughs> is let's um do these sphere levels and then we'll we'll try to beat one of those the original conquests definitely um my understanding is they're way harder i have never fought a single one ever in this game so we'll see how it goes i don't know what to expect um i need to sort these hang on hang on green menu i need to sort my items they're in the wrong order okay here we go Let's go back, okay. Hell yeah. We're killing it. We are killing it. Yeah, original creations are apparently hella powerful, so you might want to max out your stats for them. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens just from doing these levels, but I might have to, like, off-stream do some of some leveling up. Now that y'all have seen the Dauntonberry Berry trick, I can do it a bunch of times off-stream and just get everybody all leveled up. But I just want to see what happens. If I do it after I level everybody up with just the one, you know, Dauntonberry Berry trick that I did towards the beginning. Because I'm, I'm sure that some, at least some of the original creations are beatable under no sphere grid conditions. I mean, at this point, the game's been out so long, people have probably figured out how to do it. So, you know, maybe if I don't level up like all the way, I can still, you know, do something. We're gonna find out. We'll see. Yeah, but Bree, what's been going on in your life, friend? How have you been? What you been up to? Are you still at that mall job? Oh, Konek, I remember my follow-up question. Three weeks. So how? So after three weeks, I feel like you kind of sort of know if a job is any good. So what do you think? Like, what are you thinking now that you've been there for a second? The ter Kawaii Taro, remember, seemed to think that this next job was going to be like a good one for you. So I'm really curious if it was right or if you're feeling like maybe it was off the mark. Because I feel like after the first like two, three weeks, you kind of sort of know at that point, you know, like you kind of like, oh... I, I know if this is going to be, like, a place that's going to work out for a long term. If you're like, hmm, maybe I need to keep looking. You know what I mean? That's how I feel. Don't take too long to know. Even if you end up staying for a while. Like, I feel like within the first few weeks, you know if this is going to be something or not something. Um, whole lot of work. Yeah, I'm still there. Maybe leaving because it's a shit show. Oh, no, friend. Um, me and my handy-dandy little heart monitor are just vibing. Bay, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh, God. <laughs> I feel like so many jobs are like that, though, you know? So many. Just go, just go in every day and do your little tasks and hope no one bothers you. I really like the job. It's very fun. It keeps my attention for two hours straight, which is how long I currently work a day. Okay. Okay. Um, and with the computer silly actions, it doesn't ever get dull. Oh, I love that. Hey, you know, there is absolutely something to be said for um, a job, like being able to hold your attention. Some jobs are boring as fuck. You know what I mean? <laughs> and you're almost like... Wow, they really want to pay me to do this? Like, really? <laughs> um, and I don't know how you feel, Koneko, but you got to pay me a pretty good to do a super boring job. I mean, unless you're going to let me, like, literally goof off all day long, then I'll tolerate it. But most bosses don't like that. 
Uh, if it's boring, that's what I'm gonna do, you know? <laughs> um, it's trained to flag addresses or phone numbers. It's always about well flags ads in the corner of the newspaper page. Fantastic. You're always having to fix the bot. Love it. <laughs> Don't always expect it from a clothing store. Well, you know, I mean, you never know. You never know. Um, I'm torn between leaving because of awful management or staying because of fun co-workers. You know, so I guess it just depends on what you're looking for. Like, at a store, sometimes your bosses are not as important as your co-workers as far as day-to-day um, -day enjoyment. You know what I mean? But it just kind of depends. I do, to me, like, I find a good boss to be very, very valuable. Um, a huge reason why I stay where I stay and stay happy in my current company is because I think my boss is like really fantastic at being a boss, which a lot of people are not, as you all know. <laughs> it also feels the other way around. A while back it flagged a photographer's watermark but missed the handwritten address. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> uh, sounds like that poor software needs a lot of help. But that's how computers are, so, you know. Most computers really cannot do things without a human looking over its shoulder and making sure that it's doing it right. That's my experience anyway. Can't really trust them <clears throat> to uh, just really truly do it on their own. They need human oversight. Definitely can't have it all right. Yeah, I can't have it all. Um, some good bosses and a couple of bad ones, but I feel like I've also worked jobs with really bad coworkers. And it was entirely miserable. I know what you mean. Being on a, a shitty team um, is a super drag. Even if your boss is good. If the other team members are crap, it's really annoying. At least in retail setting. Yeah, for sure. For sure. I remember having so many different bosses at Blockbuster. Some of them were good and some of them were bad. But like, when I had crappy co-workers, it was absolutely the worst. Um, cause you really didn't see the store manager that often. I mean, I interact with them as we were like changing shift or whatever, but you know, I didn't inter interact with the store manager a ton. Also it gets confused as zip codes. Oh, uh, Dutch zip codes are four numbers and two letters. Oh, interesting. Um, I did not know that. Everyone, every country does zip codes different. So if an ad says 21 December 1980 at location, it catches 1980 AT as the zip code. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's so many other four number combinations that you would write when it comes to dates, um, you know, and codes and things like that. So, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Very interesting. Oh, I went too far. No. So there. There we go. Everyone almost leveled up. How's life been treating you, Karen? Bree, life has been treating me so good, girl. Um, we finally got a closing date on the new house. We're going to close on next Friday, like not tomorrow, but the Friday after that. Um, and we already are under contract to sell this house. That one is going to get closed on the next Friday after that. So two Fridays from now. Um, so everything's finally coming together after it's like eight months of freaking torture. Um, so I, I am really, really happy. I'm hoping all the stress and ridiculousness is going to be worth it. Um, we will find out soon. I'll, I'll let y'all know in a couple of weeks if everything is hunky dory or if we made the biggest mistake <laughs> doing all of this. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you, Koneko. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. We are leveling up. Are you all packed? We're working on it. We are working on it. Um, I'm slowly going through every room and putting stuff in boxes. And this move, because we actually have time to do it, I'm freaking, oh, we're out of, oh, we're out of HP spheres. Um, because we actually have time in this move, I am making it a point to, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, wait a second. Who has, the power. Sorry. I answer your question in one second. I want to see who has extract power. Extract speed. Okay. Oren has it. Waka. Oren, Waka, and Kamari. Um, let's see. Formation. 
Wrong walk and Kimari. We ran out of power spheres. This is why I farmed out spheres because I thought this might happen. So I've been going through room by room and we've been packing and also been really trying to like throw shit away because we actually have time and we've had, you know, time to prepare. We're not trying to move like last minute or anything like we knew this was coming. I do not want to get into the same situation that I've gotten in in other moves where we really do not have time to actually go through our stuff and um, and get rid of things. <clears throat> so we are throwing a lot of things away. And it feels real good. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, we're trying to have a big old purge. Kind of a big old purge. <clears throat> mm hmm. Well, like I went through, like today I, I had this laundry basket full of like shoes, right? And these are shoes that are like, um, that I don't put, like I have a sp specific, we have a specific shoe bin rack of like the shoes we actually wear regularly. And so this is the bin of like the other shoes <laughs> that we don't wear regularly. And I was just like, what am I doing? Why do I need six different pairs of formal shoes? I have not worn a single pair of formal shoes all pandemic. I don't need them. Um, the next time I need formal shoes, like I can get a, a singular pair. I don't need this many pairs of formal shoes. Um, thank you so much for the lurk, Bree. So I just, I chucked all of them out. I chucked all of them out. I was just like, you know, I have one pair of nice shoes that I can wear to work. That is enough. I don't need multiple pairs of nice shoes. It's fine. Um, it's just taking up space that's unnecessary. And I just haven't used those type of things during the pandemic. So it was a little bit easier to be like, oh, well, I haven't used it in over two years. I clearly do not need this. So yeah, shoes, they do multiply. They absolutely do. It's ridiculous. Um, so yeah, like that was a, a big throw out today. It was a huge bag of just extra shoes. Yeah, you have to, and so one pair of these shoes, literally, one of these pairs of shoes was my college prom. I mean, not college, high school. It was my high school prom shoes. Why do I still have my high school prom shoes? I have no fucking clue. I have no fucking clue. So um, I don't have them anymore. They are in the garbage. Because most of them were like squished or broken or had like, you know, studs and sequins and stuff missing. So it's like, I can't even take these to Goodwill because they need repairs before anyone could wear them. It's just, it's dumb. So they're in the garbage. It's, it's pointless. It's just pointless. I don't want to live like that. So yeah, taking the opportunity to not live like that. Um, Cause we don't have to, you know? <clears throat> I don't need to hoard stuff. Everything will be okay. The pandemic has taught me a little bit of that stuff, you know? Um, and I'm not a stuff person. Like, I don't hoard. But, like, if I think I legitimately might use something in the future, I'll keep it. And there's just... The pandemic has kind of, like, really changed my view on, like, what I would actually use. Flip-flops, at least. <laughs> well, you know what, Kitty? I actually use my flip-flops. Like, flip-flops is my shoe of choice. Um, anytime that I can wear flip-flops, I will. So actually, I, I lose or break flip-flops long before I end up with too many pairs. <laughs> I never have too many pairs of flip-flops because I will break them or lose them before it gets to that point. Because that's how often I wear flip-flops. Um, free the feet. Uh, shoes are foot prisons. So flip-flops for life. I used to wear flip-flops like to work, like that's how bad it was, but this job um, does not let me. <laughs> it, it's not dress code, so. Flip-flops in the snow, baby. Well, I don't live where there's snow, but if I did, I bet I would. Um, I just don't, I don't like my feet being covered like that. The only sh like times I want my feet covered is if my feet are cold. I like like slippers, like especially the ones that are like socks with the grippy bottoms. Like I like those because they keep my feet nice and, nice and toasty. But otherwise, I don't want my feet covered. Me physically unable to walk barefoot because of bad textures. <laughs> See, to me, it's more like the way the shoes feel on my feet. I don't like that at all. So I think it's kind of similar but opposite to your under the foot textures issue. I can barely even walk in sandals. <laughs> oh, friend. Yeah, I think we have the same, the same but opposite texture feet issue 
Um, <laughs> cause the only time I tolerate textures on my feet is when they're cold. Otherwise I really absolutely do not want it. Um, and if I'm doing it, it's because I have to, I've not been given a choice. Husband has to have socks on all the time. I don't understand it. Yeah, that's not me. That's not me. Unless it's cold, then I will put on socks. But like in the summer, like why? Why am I wearing socks in the summer? Ridiculous. Who would do that? Stupid. I have bare feet right now, even though the AC is blasting. Because <clears throat> it's not blasting that hard. I hope y'all are enjoying the the swishy the swishy clink sound of all of these spheres every time it uh, I unlock another one. Shh. It's like wish tingle, it's like a glittery sound, like a wish and a glittery sound. Oh, is that it? That's it. Oh, but I used up all my power spheres. Uh, yes, that's fine. I don't need to get more right this second. All right, you guys. We have 10 minutes left in stream. Let's save. And let's find out if the first, um... Let's find out if the first, um, original creation absolutely wrecks me or not. Earth Eater. Okay. Yes. I cannot sleep with socks on unless it's extremely cold. Yeah, I even if it's extremely cold, I won't I won't put my slippers on to sleep. Oh wow, that is a crazy color palette. Ooh, okay. Um Sup, Earth Eater. You are look ridiculous. It's the Chocobo Eater, but like more. Oh boy. Ouchie wouchie. Um, oh, and I unlocked this Blitz Ace. I'll show you guys Titus's new overdrive. This is his last overdrive after you use Energy Rain a whole bunch of times. Hopefully I can do it right. It's actually kind of hard for me to hit this. Got it. He will actually miss that last shot if you miss. And the person that he has highest friendship with is whoever throws the ball. So that's cool. Okay, he's just using a single attack, so I don't know. This is feeling not so bad. Um, that Megaton Punch is really annoying, but it just hits one character. He's got to be do something that destroys everybody, right? You know, like he's got to. Let's see what if he, when he actually gets a turn. Yeah, because the Megaton Punch is clearly a counter. So what's he do on his turn? A megaton punch again. Maybe it's literally just like endurance and lots of phoenix downs? Auto reflect that can instantly kill characters with its megaton punch. Yep. It will use twice consecutive if the party member survives. Like the chocobo eater can be knocked back by dealing over 100k damage. It's still counter attack while it's on its back, but it switches to reflecting flare off itself. It will not act for the next two turns before standing back up. Interesting. Interesting. Looks like his endurance and lots of Vaporeons. I think so. I relate to Kitty's husband. The socks never come off. That is so strange to me. Like, it would make my feet feel so weird to be, like, covered up at night when I'm trying to sleep. What if you get hot? Like, if you get hot, the best thing to do is to stick your foot out. So that's weird to me. We're gonna do energy. Oh. I missed it. Oops. <laughs> Yeah, I think for this fight, I need just like, I just need 99 Vaporeons, because if I have Auto Phoenix, then he's not gonna kill me. Damn it. Missed the last one. Yeah, because he's not really doing, he's not doing anything that hurts all the characters. 
And we revive after he Megaton punches, even if he gets two in a row. So. And because of that, there's no reason to heal everybody, so you'd literally just keep attacking. Have you had a look at The Last of Us? No, I do not know much about The Last of Us, Bree. I've not played it. I mean, I'm fam vaguely familiar with the game. I know it's popular. I know kind of what it's about, but I've never played it personally. There's a few strats for grinding, but for just beating him once, I think endurance will do it. Makes sense. Yeah, if you want to actually grind him because of his drops or whatever, I'm sure there's other strategies. Oh, sweet. I knocked him on his back. Boom. <clears throat> and now he'll flare me. Wow, it reflects off of his asshole. That is very nice. I can't believe you are bouncing flares off of your vagina, sir. Um, that is just strange. Dislike. Um, flares should not come from there. You need to go see a doctor. Fire fart. That's what it feels like. It feels like he queefed fire at me. <laughs> like, why does it have to come from there? <sighs> like, look at that! The heck? Stop! Oh, Brie, you got a Snivy! Very cool. Very cool. All right, well, this guy doesn't look too bad. It um, doesn't look like I need to grind more for him. I don't know if that means I'll be able to beat more bosses than this on the next stream, but I do think with the way this is going, we can beat him next time we play this game. Yeah, this is not going too bad. Um, How much health does he have? How much health does he have, Koneko? I'm trying to figure out if it if there's any reason to keep fighting this guy or if I should just end stream because there's no way I'm going to get um, that much damage in time. Snivy is the best Gen 5 starter. He's a pretty good one. Not going to lie. He's pretty good. Thank you. Thank you for checking, friend. Whew, one million three hundred thousand. Okay, yeah. Um, yeah, and I'm doing like in the tens of thousands of damage. I need to flee. We don't, we're not gonna beat him. Okay. Let's go. We'll beat you next time, Mr. Souped Up Chocobo Eater. Let's save. But I do think I can just beat him up with those three. Okay, so I'm not going to level up anymore before we play again. Okay, we're gonna stay right here. See how many I can beat with only doing the as many spheres as I did before. Alright. Go back to webcam only and close the game. Okie dokie. Let's find someone to raid, y'all. Let's find someone to raid, y'all. Let's find someone to raid, y'all. Okay, so because of the move, this will be the last Artistic License until after the move is done. I think the next episode of Artistic License is going to be on the 18th. We're definitely not streaming on the 4th, and I'm probably not streaming on the 11th either. If I get a wild hair and stream on the 11th, it'll be a surprise to me too. I'll let y'all know as soon as I know, but I think the next one's going to be the 18th. Um, don't forget to take Evie to the Pokemon Center after the stream. Oh, I won't, but thank you so much, because I probably would have, but I will not forget, I promise. When I wake up in the morning, even ask me if I did. I think you should. Um, so, uh, so yeah, uh, I will do that. And um, we'll have a whole new setup. We're probably going to, we're not going to play Final Fantasy X. Okay, we're going to play something different to like christen the new setup. And, um, and yeah, so I will let uh, patrons or, or subscribers, like people that are in the, the, the subscriber chat on my Twitch. I mean, not on my Twitch, on my Discord. What the heck? Um, know uh, what that's going to be soon. I'll be deciding soon. I'll let y'all know. And um, we will have a one more episode of Interstage Window. So on Saturday, we're going to do um, which Harry Potter men would hold your drink for you while you go to the bathroom. 
um, at the bar. So we're going to do that. It's going to be real fun. Or it's another ranking uh, stream and you guys can rank along with us. But yeah, and then after that, we're going to take a break until the move is done. Okay, we are going to raid um, Animagus Arts. It's a new friend. And the reason we're going to raid them is because they are playing Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, which is a fantastic game. And they're doing a charity stream for the American Cancer Society. So we're going to go ahead and raid them. So there we go. Let's launch that. Okay. All right. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Um, we're going we're gonna to use Koneko's nice little pun here for the first time. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed the show. And don't forget, of course, as always, to make it a great day.